I think good leadership is not just about what you do, but how you influence other people to do the work that you do, even after you leave the space. I started an educator fellowship program uh, called Sneely, and what we found out was that a lot of educators, especially in smaller districts and smaller regions, weren't finding enough meaningful professional development opportunities. And so by bringing them all together and creating a space where teachers can kind of collaborate and figure out unique problems, we were able to launch a teacher leadership development program. What I think the Suleiman Award does uh, or at least what that process has been like for me, was to internalize the things that I already do and to make sure that I can connect them to broader conversations that are taking place in this country. I think that the Suleiman process helps because it creates awareness of what we're doing and what other people around the country are doing. I think a lot of the time when you're a teacher and you have these goals and these dreams, they seem kind of impossible or hard. And when you see these people doing all these different things alone in teams, you're like, okay, maybe, maybe I can do this. Maybe it is possible. So I hope it brings awareness of what we're doing to hopefully inspire other teachers that are kind of dreaming about the same thing. The winner of the Suleiman Excellence in Teacher Leadership Award goes to Takeru Nagayoshi. Opportunities like Suleiman has pushed me to think more broadly about how I can think about the work that I do in ways that are uh, engaging stakeholders beyond just my students and my community members. And it's that kind of framework and lens that's necessary to make broader impact. And to those teachers who are feeling as though they might not have the right uh, voice or the skills or the networks to make that kind of impact, trust in your gut and trust in the stories and the things that you see every day and use that as a starting point to make the advocacy.